or your ordinary Romanian is uh, is more concerned with because he's confronting it every every other day. And as far as the first one is uh, is concerned with, uh, I, I want to bore you with uh, the many legislation pieces that we have uh, adopted. Most of them are are. Uh, many of them are inspired by American legislation. Uh, we had some difficulties in translating notions like whistleblower or sunshine legislation in Romania. Uh, I won't give you statistics about how many were arrested or sentenced and so on and so forth. I, I'll, just, uh, uh, I'll just tell you uh, one uh, important reason why we should uh, believe this will, will soon come to an end. In any massive transfer of, pr of property, like uh, in our countries from state-owned, almost everything was state-owned by, uh, in, in Romania. There was very little private uh, property. Uh, so you had, uh, you had a massive transfer. Uh, historically, statistically, you see that these processes are accompanied by, by cases or by allegations of, uh, of corruption. I remember because the gentleman over there mentioned Hungary, I remember a very important point that was made by, by Hungarian leaders of that time, some four or five years ago, that there shouldn't be any concern with respect to uh, high-level corruption in, in Hungary since privatization is over. They have privatized 85% of their assets. The rest is strategic, uh, strategic uh, 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 assets of, of Hungary, they don't have the intention of, of privatizing it. Privatization is over. You want you want have the same the same uh, uh, amount and, and uh, the same intensity of, of scandals. We are nearing that uh, that uh, point. So this is one one I would say scientific or objective reason to be more optimistic about it. It is more difficult to tackle daily corruption. This is uh, um, also a uh, historical uh, uh, historical uh, um, uh, reflex, I would say, for, for many countries in the, in the region. It is very difficult to uh, persuade the, the citizen that he or she should not, should not offer anything, should be very persistent in, in actually re requiring, uh, demanding that his or her right be, be um, uh, implemented <coughs> without the need of having to uh, to uh, engage into shortcuts. So that that would be a very short answer to, to a, a very complex uh, problem. Yes, please. Are any efforts, uh, what efforts are being made to build the tourism infrastructure? The what, I'm tourism sorry? Tourism infrastructure? Um, I think uh, I think we we made a, a certain mistake uh, at the beginning of the the 90s, uh, where uh, it was very easy to privatize uh, restaurants, bars, so, so assets of a, of a smaller on a smaller uh, scale. So we had already in 1990 every restaurant was was privately owned. It flour everything flourished, so on and so forth. What we had in terms of uh, hotels, uh, hotel network, uh, the infrastructure from uh, spa resorts, um, uh, health facilities, things like, like that were, were um, given on loan. Uh, so you had, you had somebody, a private individual or, or company who was just running the, the whole business but was not owning it. And of course there was no interest in putting a lot of investment into, into it but rather making quick money out of uh, of it now that's that's changing that's changing uh, that there was a massive uh, effort aimed at uh, privatizing these these assets the the most important thing is uh, was in the last years to uh, determine the strategic direction where there is a niche for romanian tourism because for for many years we thought that, that the jewel in the crown was uh, the black sea um, uh, the, the black sea uh, uh, coastline and uh, well, we realize that other countries uh, have as well uh, uh, nice uh, sea lines. They they have hotels and and that you are not necessarily very competitive in this this area. I think the future is in in um, um, mountain tourism, like um, uh, like for instance what we call um, the um, how do you call this? Film? I know what Praha is the the type of tourism, agro tourism, agro agro tourism. 
Yes, Wale Prahove is just one, one of, of them, which means uh, that uh, uh, you have a very uh, environmentally appealing uh, hosting in, in uh, small uh, properties, family owned, and then you get wonderful uh, service down there. There is future for the the uh, health related uh, tourism with, you know, the I think many, many still believe that this uh, uh, secret recipe for for eternal youth is still in Romanian hands. The, unfortunately, the the recipe was uh, was uh, uh, sold out to many <laughs> in many other other countries. But uh, there are there would be very uh, important names that are still shining today from Hollywood and, and elsewhere who actually went through that uh, that clinic and and the name is is still there uh, and and we still have uh, have the expertise uh, so i think and and i would add to this conference and and business uh, tourism you start with uh, the fact that uh, one big uh, conference uh, major conference center is the former um, uh, house of the, the people that Ceausescu uh, built and that we wanted to, uh, in 1990 to just uh, tear down. Others wanted to make it a big uh, business uh, center with the, with the Japanese and yet others, uh, uh, namely the, the current prime minister, thought more and more wisely that this should be the house of, of the parliament. <coughs> it, was go it was the most, uh, the most powerful symbolic response to the uh, history of, of its building, with many sacrifices and so on and so, so forth. So now, now it's a, a, a building that we are, we not only became familiar, uh, accustomed with, but uh, we begin to be a, a bit proud of it as a historic achievement, leaving aside the, the more negative aspects uh, of it. That's, that's the way in which pyramids and other major architectural uh, works were were arrived at. In fact, if you look at that history, so this is a big, big conference center now with a very nice Marriott hotel next to it, and uh, and it's booming. Why don't we have one last question? Sure. Well, the the lessons that uh, that uh, we could uh, we could share were rather on on that uh, on violence violence that is uh, coming after uh, the the political act of uh, bringing down a, a regime. It was the case in in Romania, were applicable rather to the first uh, period after the termination of. Uh, military operations. What is happening uh, right now is something that many dr dreaded, that is intra-community violence, which is stimulated from, from outside and it's, uh, it's uh, from, from outside these communities. And uh, it's, it's of course, uh, 